you leave WBF, you end up going back to WCW. We saw the Seven character there briefly. Um, but something I wanted to ask you about was when you went to WCW, I guess that was where you saw your dad again. And you guys hadn't talked for years, and now you're going to be kind of reunited. How was that experience? This experience was uh, very, very scary. Um, Y'all remember the, uh, the uh, um, West Texas Rednecks? with Bobby Duncan and Kurt Henning and Barry and those guys, right? And they were singing the Rap His Crap song. Well, we were shooting the videos. I'm very close with Barry. We, we, we grew up together. He's one of my best friends. And uh, we're shooting on his property. And I'm to meet him in Jacksonville and ride back with him with all the four-wheelers and all our gear and stuff like that because we're going to have some fun. And I'm just going to watch. Dad's there. Dad's in Jacksonville. So we pull up at the building, and I didn't know he was going to be there. And uh, somebody ran out of the door because I'm sitting in the back with Barry and Kurt Henning. He said, your dad's here, and he's coming out. So immediately I'm like, oh, God, oh, my God, what am I going to do? You know, I got scared, I got very, very frightened. My dad was a very intimidating man. Um, Vince McMahon's a very intimidating man. But this is my dad, and this is my blood, and no matter what feelings I had towards him or what feelings he had towards me, he's coming out that door, and I don't know what's going to happen. And dad had this certain swagger about him with his cowboy hat tilted kind of to the side, and he starts walking. He, he walks out of the door, and he's larger than life, and he's coming right at me. And he's just doing his little swagger like he does, and he walks up to me, and he uh, he puts his arms around me, and we hug for probably, it brings tears sometimes, probably about 20 minutes. It was very, very, and he was just, I'm sorry, this, that, you know, I'm sorry too. And we, I swear to God, he hugged me for like 20 minutes. So right there, I'm thinking to myself, I'm never going to let this happen again. And it's very important that I tell you that if you're having a falling out with your mother, your, your sisters, your brothers, your dads, or whatever, men, that shit, man, because they're the only ones that you have. And once they're gone, they're gone. And if you can mend it, it's going to be much better. I promise you that. And from that day on, man, we, we got tighter than, than uh, anything. And it was just incredible. It was very scary, but very surreal and emotional night. I didn't know. I didn't want to talk about emotional stuff to y'all. I'm sorry. This brought it out. You got me crying, man. Well, so around around this time as well, um, WWE buys WCW. That happens. There's the invasion. And I know there was obviously some dark times going on around that time for you, but do you remember when that happened and WWF buys WCW? Like, what did you think the, the, the wrestling industry was going to look like? Did you think another company was going to come around? Um, what did you think your future was going to be like? Because at that point, WWF don't pick up your option for a contract. You're, I guess you don't really know what you're going to be doing next. Well, back then, you know, that's when I started really getting heavily into alcohol and drugs. So I didn't really give a anymore at that point. And um, I wasn't caring, so I never saw what was coming. And I didn't know that when they pulled up, man, they, this was the first time that I actually realized, there's Shane McMahon, and he's here. And we're shooting this pay-per-view bash at the beach or whatever it is, you know? And it's like, here comes Shane McMahon. And, and all the entourage roll into town. And I know them, you know, but it's like, Oh, they're actually buying WCW. They're actually doing this. And at that point, I'm just like, well, hell. I mean, I'm under contract with WCW, but whatever. I'm sure I'll end up going back to WWE. That that wasn't the case right away because, you know, it didn't, didn't end like that for me. 